In this video, we want to show a basic identity for the gamma function. Here is our gamma integral, the gamma function of p, e to the minus a dA, then a is raised to, not to the power p, but p minus 1, and a goes from 0 to infinity. What we want to show in this video is that this integral is equivalent to this integral, the natural log of 1 over x dx raised to the p minus 1 power. x goes from 0 to 1. We'll do that in this video. We'll go from this integral to this integral. Then in part 2, in the uh, next video, we'll do it reverse. We'll start with this integral, and then we'll derive this integral. So here is our standard gamma function. And let's start off like this then. Let x equal e to the minus a. Then the natural log of x, ln of x, that's just minus a. The natural log, of course, is the number that e has to be raised to to get that number. Or we could say that a is minus the natural log of x. And this, that is the natural log of 1 over x. Remember that this, the natural log of 1 over x, equals the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of x. That, of course, is 0. So we can write it either way. Now, we have a is raised to the p minus 1 power, or that would be the same as this, a to the p minus 1, that would then be this raised to that power. Natural log of 1 over x raised to the p minus 1 power. Now, in our substitution, we have x is this, dx that would be this e to the minus a times the derivative of this, that would be minus not the derivative of it, actually just the differential of it, dA. Or we would have then that this part of the integral is just minus dx equals e to the minus a dA. So we're all set with that. Now, let's take a look, though. Here we have a equals this. What about the limits? a goes from 0 to infinity. So a equals the natural log of 1 over x. a goes from 0 to infinity. What about x? If a is equal to, or we can even start right here. We can look at it either way, of course. If a is 0, then we'd have e to the 0 power. x would be 1. If a is 
infinity, we'd have 1 over e to the infinity, or x would be 0. So to determine our limits, instead of thinking of it like this, it's easy to think of it in with this formula. Again, if a is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so x is going to be 1. If a is infinity, that would be 1 over e to the infinity, or x will be 0. So here is our starting integral. And we have a to the p minus 1, that is this. And then this part of the integral, that is just minus dx. Put our minus sign outside. Here is dx. And x goes from 1 to 0. Or take that minus sign away and we would reverse the order of the limits. That would be from 0 to 1. So we began with this integral. And then as soon as we made this substitution right here, that really set us up for the rest of the problem then. Because if x is this, minus dx is this, which gives us this part of the integral, then for here, take the natural log of both sides, we have a is equal to this, and then this part of the integral is this, so really it all comes together here into this form. Then for the limits, a goes from 0 to infinity. When we look at it in this equation, we can readily see x goes from 1 to 0. We had a minus sign out here, so we reverse the orders of that. But then that does indeed show that this integral is equivalent to this integral. Okay, that'll be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to do it in reverse. We will start with this integral and derive the gamma, the standard gamma integral function from it. Um, the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. If you click on free calculus videos and then scroll down through there, you see that we have a whole section there where we deal with integral functions. And this will be put into that section.